Get that other side here. That side. That's where it should be. That's a big. That's what you call. Oh, I got it on camera too. Come here, boy. All right, y'all. So today I'm going to show y'all a very, very, very simple lure that I've used to catch over 10,000 fish in my lifetime. Like, no joke. I grew up on a lake. I was able to fish every day sometimes. And uh, if you're an ultralight fisherman, then those numbers can really add up. But this is it. There's nothing really anything special about it. But it is a one inch grub with a one thirty second ounce jig head. Now my history with this was growing up, I had just a limited allowance. I had a Shakespeare ultralight from Walmart. I didn't really have a lot of fishing money, right? So with like $10, $10 or so, you could go to Walmart, you could get your little Mr. Twister grubs or whatever one I was using at the time, probably some off-brand stuff. You could get some Eagle Claw jig heads. You can make it work. And no joke about it, this simple rig will catch so many different kinds of fish, it's crazy because you can fish it shallow, you can fish it deep, you can fish it fast, you can fish it slow. It's really a great search bait. It's also, if you're new to a lake and you're fishing a new lake, it's a great bait to give you an idea on what's there. The size of the fish, the forage, the species that are there to begin with, if you don't know, it's just a great all around rig. Again, pretty straightforward, right? My two techniques that really work the best, bomb a cast out. A lot of times, just imagine if this was a shoreline, I try to find a drop off. I try to find a drop off and I just look like uh, just a stranded prey item, right? Whether it's a fish, larva whatever it is creeping it creeping it here a little a few twitches here and there that can get a fish's instinct a fish that may not want to bite it initially sometimes i just change the uh speed the cadence or what i do i just switch it up the cool thing with this is just like i said the versatility of it and the effectiveness of it because today for example we're fishing for bluegill they're making their beds but they're not always making their beds in the same places sometimes they're making it shallow sometimes they're making it relatively deep sometimes up to eight feet like i'm not able to visually see i don't know if you guys can see there's a school of small bait fish here but these that bay fish too this is a good example they're only about what would you say two inches those that. two inches of that it also matches this, this grub so young bait fish it matches this effectively. There we go. See, that's a deep bed. We're on a deep bed right now. And these are kind of pressured fish. We hunkered over them once. They know we're here. They get caught. This is a good example. Oh, something had took a chunk out of this guy. Yeah, it looked like a turtle. Yeah, a turtle bite. Well, oh, you got a pizza slice missing. Logan's here on the back of the boat. Earlier today, he was using a rooster tail that was just, look at that. I <laughs> can't make it up. He was uh, using a rooster tail that was just slightly too big for numbers and also these very finicky bull bluegills that see everything, man. Um, and he wasn't getting the bites that I was getting. So we, uh, we decided, we're like, hey, throw on this 132nd ounce jig head, throw on this small curly tail. And now he's catching them. How many do you think you caught today? 30 or 40. 30 or 40. How many think we total we have? Probably pushing 90. About pushing 90, right? Yeah. I kind of got a little bit of a head start and I'm fishing out the front of the boat, so that helps. But dude, we've been having a killer day on this thing, but it, that's typically how it is with this bait. There's nothing crazy about it other than it works and it gets bites. But really, a size six hook or smaller, uh, one to one and a half inch. I have some 1.2s. 
just i mean the sweet spot if you're really wanting to get on some good gills i'd say is one inch try to find those one inch curly tails and not every one inch grub is the same some are slightly big you'll see the mr twisters are sm slightly smaller this is actually the bass pro shop brand like the in-house brand it's perfectly fine it works perfectly good um but yeah it's very inexpensive and dude you can literally spend ten dollars on baits and lures and potentially catch hundreds of fish there's, there's no joke about it you can't beat i i prefer this over live bait as far as numbers go because i can cover more water i don't have to deal with the rebaiting and the mess i don't have to worry about keeping the bait alive this can sit in a tackle box like use my my childhood as an example like when i got off school i didn't have to worry about like bait or i didn't have to worry about i just had some ready to go and it produced a lot if, if you have a lot of crappy in your lake these kill it on the crappy too small bass we probably caught about 10 dink spotted bass today when i mean dink i mean Bro. dink of the dink huh i don't even know if you can call them dink. no like micros but i've caught big bass on those too my last video i actually caught a good spotted bass i guess you could say on these and when you're catching them on two and four pound line it, it, it's a fun time uh pretty simple um it, but it, it is kind of technical at the same time here but ult ultimately it's an ultralight reel ultralight rod now the rod and the reel are a little bit more advanced than you know growing up but you don't need anything crazy this one in particular is the Daiwa air ags uh 510 extra ultralight this is a luvius 2000 reel you, you're probably thinking 2000 reel what ultralight it's five ounces it's like 5.1 or something like that to be exact it's still lighter than a lot of ultralight reels and it allows you to cast a little bit better um, honestly i'm going to be switching the reel out on this rod and moving this reel to another ultralight rod but if any matter it doesn't matter um i bought this reel for this rod originally it works just fine it's just i got multiple setups now and i'm going to make some adjustments just to accommodate things a little bit better but all you need is a 5,000 to 1,000 typically sized reel. Like I said, this is a little bit of an exception. It has a shallow spool. It's really light. Um, it's made for this kind of deal, okay? Um, but yeah, just any 500 or 1,000 size reel, any ultralight rod. Like I said, I was using the old Shakespeare Walmart combo. Me and my dad caught so many fish off of that thing. It's all you need to get started. Yep, yep. Don't feel bad. We can always bleep out the S word. Another one. They both just strike that at the same time. <laughs> Not the big there. Oh, this one's pretty too. found a good deep bed when you find them deep beds that's where it's at oh man look at this one. Oh, another one that's a toad that's a toad right there two pound line one two there i'm telling you man it's just it's the setup the setup man yeah it was nice yeah look they sometimes they look a lot bigger in the water man that's what i've come to realize that, that, that one's a good one. yeah it still is a good one though for sure i'm gonna have to get a little out of here i'll work your way slowly into the middle you don't want to blow it good 
No, man, it's a turtle. That's a good one. Cast to the sides of the bed, don't cast in the middle. Nah, I mean, it's a good one, but I'm not going at him. This is a tank. Look at them. That's that one you were talking about earlier that you wanted. There we go. That may be a shell cracker. Mm -hmm. Don't catch in the middle. There you go. Try to keep them out. There we go. Put them in the live well. <laughs> Really, when they're big, you can only catch like, I don't know, a few, not many. Is that a good one? Uh, it's not as good as the ones we were catching, but it's good. You see how I mean when they group by size, though? Uh -huh. Cast to tree. Yeah, that tree. You don't catch right in the middle. Because what you don't want to do is like have that fish run through the whole bed. You want to hit hit the middle last. God, dog, that was a splash bite. Yeah, yeah they'll do that. Start working your way. And I cast to that tree where that brush is again. Like we can work our way towards the middle now, but God dang, I can't even. I couldn't even. Okay, that's fine. I say I couldn't even get to the middle. Oh, get the. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Gotta let him run. Gotta let him run. That's a good one. Oh, did he really get me in there? Get out of there. Get out of there. There you go, cool. He swallowed it. Look up here. Get it up. <laughs> At this point, just get it up. 